Hi, Georgia Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this pretty card. To make this card I use the stamp set Bloom and Grow. Yes, I am digging out some older ones, but still current. And in this one I've used that image there, the flower. For the sentiment, I've got Everything is Rosy and I'm using the sentiment May Your Birthday Be Filled with Pretty Things. I think this is a pretty card. Card stop. I've got a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth, folded in half. And we'll burnish it. I have two bits of um, white at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths, one for the top and one for underneath. I have a bit of designer series paper and this is from the painted palettes um, papers but it's retired now but I'm trying to use up all my retired paper and I seem to have a lot of this and this is the same five and five eighths by three and seven eighths and as you saw, I've already stamped and cut that out, but I will stamp another one and colour it in. Um, what else? Oh, and a scrap of white for the stamping. But first of all, let's get this white card cut, because as you can see, it's on an angle. So I'm going to bring in my trimmer. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to pop this in here and I'm going to place that at an inch and a half, put, place this point at an inch and a half and this bottom point at the edge of the trimmer just off the white, not on the brown, just on the white, so the point is at there and then I'm going to cut that off that I can use another time and then that will just sit on top like that that's all I've done this you can use the same as that so you can make two put a different color paper underneath and make it a different one so do it with our stamping I'm going to use Versafine just to stamp the um, sentiment make sure that's straight and then Stamp that. There, I've got a horrible feeling that's not straight. But it is, so that's okay. And then we'll clean the stamp up. So that's that done with that one. Right, with my scrap and the flower stamp uh, memento ink I have started using memento ink when I'm colouring in especially when I'm using light colours right and we'll just stamp that down Remember if you're using a photopolymer stamp and you don't have a um, cushioned base that you're stamping on, please use your foam mat stamping pads. Alright, clean that off. And that 
is our stamping done for today. So, put the lid on the ink. Put it away. Right, while we're waiting for that to dry, we'll get rid of that. I don't need that. Stick these down. Now you could, if you want, cut the ink, uh, cut this paper if you really want to. Um, I have, and I've just kept it like this so that it is a true five by seven. It saves me maff faffing about trying to measure it. But if you're that frugal and you want to save it, then you could cut it off. So I'm going to stick that on. The longest part of this card is actually colouring in the flower. Right. And then we'll stick this on our card base. Right. There we are. Right. Oh, that's for the inside. I never did nothing on the inside, so I should just pop that in. I might stamp something in there at a later date. Depends who I give it to. Right. Put that there. Right, I have got here Old Olive for the leaves. I have got Light Purple Posy. Dark Purple Posy, Dark Highland Heather, and Light Blackberry Bliss. And they're the five colours I'm going to use. So first we'll do the leaves with Old Olive. Nothing special about this, I'm just putting some colour in it only thing special about this is finding all the leaves amongst all the um, flower petals Making sure that it is leaves you're colouring in. That one's done. Alright, with the dark rich raspberry, I coloured all the, um, I don't know what they're called, circles then. Missed one there. Of 
a dry throat. Right, now with light purple posy, I'm going to do the two on the outside. So that's one either end. I shall just colour them in. Uh, right, dark purple posy to the next two in. If you could be able to see the difference on camera, can you see the color difference? Hmm, yeah, I suppose you could. Right. And for the big flower, I've used in dark Highland Heather because the light Highland Heather is uh, just too close to the um, purple posy. And I did want it to stand out. There we are. Oh no. Missed one. I can see a leaf I've missed. So then you take your die. And you're to cut that out using your die like that, and you'd end up with this. Right, and to stick this on the card like that, there, you need dimensionals. So Let's get see what I've got here. And now we're going to use the bits up. Um, just a little bit, the one on that one. I think 
that will do. Take these off. Just see the back in there. Uh, just see the foam pad on the other side. to put this like that on there yeah get rid of all these little bits now I have got some white pearls here which I have colored using the dark Highland Heather and I'm just going to Place them over here. Right, so and that is our card. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. If you'd like to be notified, you press the bell icon and you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.